Whether you realize it or not, real butter is under attack today. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another public service announcement for the low carb, keto, carnivore people out there. And it's about real butter. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, establish what real butter is to us. It's, to us, real butter isn't the mainstream Breakstone or ShopRite brand butters. If you like salted butter, the only butter you should buy is um, butter that has sea salt in it. Because regular salt is not good for you. It's actually bad for you. It's completely opposite of what sea salt is. But that's a story for another day. I have to bring a prop in. When you go to supermarkets like ShopRite or even organic supermarkets like Basil Bandwagon or the healthier places like Whole Foods and you want to find a good butter, you'll find organic butters. Um, organic Valley makes some and there's some other brands. I think even Horizon makes um, some organic butter. But it's, it's really, the organic label doesn't really matter too much. And in my hand here I have something called, I'll see if it'll show up here. It's called Trickling Springs Organic Butter made from uh, organic heavy cream and Celtic sea salt. But that's, that's just for reference. What, um, what we used to get at ShopRite, for instance, was Kate's Butter from Maine. And this is my uh, drink. Kate's Butter from Maine used to be the only like farm, real farm butter with sea salt in it. Um, and I spoke to a manager at one of the local supermarkets who said that, you know, because I, I complained that the plant-based butters, you know, the coconut, avocado, whatever it is, not real dairy butter. It's just fake, fake, fake butter. I don't care how organic it is. It comes from plants. They extract it. It's like the equivalent of eating a million uh, coconuts to get the butter out of it. I don't care if it's from coconuts, it's just not real butter and you shouldn't be eating it. But he said that those, uh, or, uh, those plant-based fake butters are flying off the shelves. They're, they're growing like a virus in, in these supermarkets. And I don't think like butter butter is ever going to go away you know, from the mainstream brands. It's still probably at least half of the butter type selection uh, available. But I would never buy, I mean, I, I avoid at, at, as much as possible the, um, the regular butters. I mean, in a pinch I'll do it, it's not gonna kill me, but I don't wanna eat regular table salt, refined salt. And it's stripped of the 80 plus uh, minerals that are in Celtic sea salt and the pH balance is different. Everything about uh, regular, you know, traditional processed table salt is just bad, bad for you. But if in a pinch I will buy unsalted, like regular butter, you can get it for a dollar or two a pound. Now, that butter I just showed you, the Trickling Springs, is a, is a good thing to have, but it's extremely expensive. It's $8 for eight ounces, so that's $16 a pound, um, which is, it's, it's exorbitant, it's too much. I don't, at that point it becomes, uh, uh, just not good. We bought one just to, to try it, and I'm sure it's good, but Kate's Butter, for example, you can get at Stop and Shop, I think it's $6.99 or $6.69 a pound, which is about the max I'll pay for a good butter. You can also get the Amish Butter, which I would rather have over the mainstream brands, but the Amish Butter also just contains plain old salt. So buy, if you could find unsalted Amish butter, do that too. But watch out, these plant-based butters are going to, to grow. If it's 50, you know, if it's 10, 15, 20% of the market today, it's in a year from now, it's gonna be 40%, and five years from now, it's probably gonna be a majority of the butters. They're trying to kill, you know, natural cow-based dairy butters. I. I Maybe the, the mainstreams won't go away, but I, I just don't like them. And like I said, if you're gonna eat regular old plain, you know, mass market butter, 
even though the cows aren't great and it's not, it's probably GMO, um, at least get the uh, unsalted ones and salt to your own taste. But that's it, watch out, it's something to, to keep an eye on. It's 2019 now, probably by 2025 you're gonna see a majority of all butters, you know, fake and plant-based. That's it, have a good week ahead.